Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a special effects tutorial, showing you how I created this gash slash slice in my arm. I also added a few stitches type cuts also to make it more gory. This look is definitely perfect for Halloween, don't necessarily need to do it on your arm, you could do it on your face. Really hope you enjoy the video, please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take some isopropyl alcohol, but you can also use micellar water or any kind of makeup remover. This is just to take away the oily residue on my arm so everything sticks properly. Then I'm going to be taking some nose and scar wax, this one in particular is from Ben Nye, and also using some moisturiser, any type will do. Then to get the scar wax out of the pot, I'm just going to be using a regular utensil knife, making sure to use the blunt end and just applying some moisturiser to the knife. Scooping some scar wax out of the pot and also putting some moisturiser on my fingers so my fingers don't stick to the scar wax. Then I'm basically just going to shape it to how I want it. So I'm just going to roll it in my hands into a ball and then I kind of want a long hot dog sort of shape so I, this is what I'm doing here. Obviously just shape it to how long you want it but I wanted my cut to be quite long. Then to help the scar wax further adhere to my arm I'm just using some spirit gum. This one's also from Ben Nye. This stuff is really funny because you basically apply it like a nail polish and you have to tap it to activate it. So I'm basically just tapping it until it just gets really sticky. Then I'm just going to apply the scar wax where I want it, just place it down and push it down a little bit. Um, then start blending it out basically. So I am using the back of the tweezer here, as you can see it kind of went a little bit wrong. But all you have to do is basically just keep on smoothing it out. It's kind of like trial and error. But the one thing I do really like about gore makeup, special effects, is the fact that it doesn't need to look perfect. So it can literally just look how you want it. Here I'm just using tweezers, but obviously you don't need to use that. It's just what works best for me, but obviously you find what works best for you. Then I'm just blending out the edges and also using my finger to blend it out with a little bit of moisturiser so the warmth of my fingers doesn't stick. I am just using the blunt end of the knife here just to scrape away some excess product and also just further blending this out. I'm also just smoothing out the edges of the scar because it makes it look more blended. Then I'm just using again the blunt end of the knife just to make incisions in the scar so making it look like it's actually being cut. You can see it better here. Basically just using the blunt end of the knife with a little bit of moisturiser on just to make indents into the scar to make it look like it has been gashed. So for the sideways cut slash the kind of stitches, I'm basically just using the same technique. But after I've pushed down, I'm just using the blunt end of the knife just to smooth it over a little bit. Here I'm just smoothing down the middle again, just so there's not random bits of scar wax. To further blend the scar wax into the skin, I'm going to be using a foundation. I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, but you can obviously use whatever one you want. Use the skin tone colour that you would usually use on your face and just blend this in around the cut and on the cut. Then taking this colour palette from Cryolin and using the black, applying this in the middle of the wound, mainly just dabbing off the excess. Just to make the wound look a lot deeper, the black will actually make the wound look more sunken in, so it'll give it a bit more depth. Also using the same technique on the little scars on the outside, but I'm using a little bit less pressure here just because obviously they do fade out. Then I'm just taking this maroon shade on a fluffy brush and just patting it in and around the wound. 
basically just to make it look really irritated because your skin would be very swollen and very sore. To be honest, I only added product to the brush at the very beginning because I want it to be quite faded as I go towards the outer edges. Now to further blend this out around the edges, I'm just using a latex sponge, just a regular makeup sponge, and just patting it around the area, dragging out so it looks more sore on the outer edges. Then going back in with that maroon shade and also a little detailed brush, I'm basically tracing the line where the cut would be, sticking very close to the corners because this is where it would be more sore. Also using a orange shade from the Ben Nye palette, um, basically just to further the bruising. I'm also using this green as well to do the same thing and help it blend with the skin more. Then going back with the maroon shade again, blending it on top of the other colours and going in with the sponge and further blending. Now for fake blood I'm using this one here, it's a stage blood. I really do like this because it's darker and it basically emphasises the deepness of the cut. I'm basically just applying this everywhere where there is a crevice, so basically everywhere that we made a dent in the scar wax. So when applying the fake blood on these outer scars, I'm not actually putting any more on the brush. I'm just using what's in the middle just to blend it out. Now I'm just roughening up the cut with some fake blood because this would not be very clean at all, it would be quite messy. Now for some added shine to the cut to make it look all juicy and sore, I'm using a bit of glycerin here, this is just regular food glycerin but you could also use hair gel as I've shown. Just using a cotton bud and also just applying this where I put the blood to make it look shiny. Then setting this all with Ben Nye Final Seal, as you can see it did start leaking, I had to clear it up a bit, but that's fine, I just used a bit of tissue. But this is the final look, I really hope you enjoy, I had a lot of fun creating this, it's very simple and easy steps if you've got the right tools. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time, bye guys!